Hi, Andy is here. Today, we are introducing lesson one. It's about time and date. Are you ready? Let's solve some fun problems. Let's read the statement together. We started to go back home from summer camp at 4:32 p.m. yesterday, and arrived at 6:11 a.m. this morning. Hmm, how long did it take us to get home? We noticed that this is a question about calculating hours and minutes. So, how do you solve this problem? Let's work out together. Here we go. We solve this kind of problem. We need to find the start time. Where is it? Here we go. 4:32 p.m. yesterday, and then we need to find the end time. It is 6:11 a.m. this morning. Now let's draw a line to illustrate the times. Here we go. This is the start time. 4:32 p.m. yesterday, and this is the end time. 6:11 a.m. yesterday and this morning. So there is a midnight. Twelve o'clock. We put it here. Twelve. Hmm. Now we need to find the duration from the start time to the end time. We need to split it into half. So first, calculate yesterday this part, and then today this part. Here we go. So. It's 4:32 p.m. What is the close the hour to 4:32 p.m.? It's 5 p.m. So 4:32 to 5 o'clock. It will be 28 minutes. We write it here. And then from 5 p.m. to midnight, 12 o'clock. How many hours you went? 12 minus 5. What is it? It's seven hours. Here we go. Seven hours. So we know that it took seven hours and twenty-eight minutes from 4:32 p.m. to midnight. Now, today, 6:11 a.m. It's pretty easy, right? Six hours and eleven minutes. Now, what is the whole duration? We simply add them up. So seven hours. And 28 minutes plus six hours and 11 minutes. How should we do it? Here we go. 28 minutes plus 11 minutes equals 39. 39. Minutes, and then seven plus six. It goes thirteen. So thirteen hours. I think we got the answer right. Thirteen hours and thirty-nine minutes. Where is it? Ha! It's A. Ta-da! If you choose option A, congratulations, well done.
So next time, when you notice that it's about calculating hours and minutes, you need to find the start time and the end time, and then find the duration, and that's the answer. All right, next we'll come to our second problem. Get ready. Let's read the problem together. Today, Wednesday, eighth of April, two thousand fifteen, is the day of the Sasmo competition, and your friend says that the Singapore Math Kangaroo contest was fourteen days ago. On which day was the Singapore Math Kangaroo contest? Hmm. So we notice that it's a problem about calculating dates. How do you solve this kind of problem? Let's do it together. All right. So when you try to solve this problem, because you need to find the the day of the week and the specific date of the month. <laughs> so first, let's break it down. First. We try to find the specific day of the week. We need to use a method of the remainder. Okay, we call it a period cycle. So we notice that it's fourteen days ago, and today it is Wednesday. So you know, each week has seven days. So fourteen days ago. Where we use the division, so here we go. Fourteen divided by seven—that's a week. Equals two. There is no remainder, so that means fourteen days ago it's still Wednesday. Ha!、Ah. Oh, we can quickly find. It's option C, ha! If you need to be in a hurry, maybe you can just pick this one, and you will be correct. But we need to find the specific date of the month. How should you do it? So we notice that it's the eighth of April. So eight days in April. Fourteen days ago. First, we need to use the subtraction. Fourteen minus eight equals six. Okay, so which means eight days ago it will be the end of March because March. After March, there will be April. How many days are there in March? Thirty-one days. So eight days ago, we go back to thirty-first March. Hmm. Now we have still we still have six days. Now thirty-one. Minus six equals twenty-five. Now you know. Six days ago, it will be twenty-fifth March. Hmm. Twenty-fifth March. Now you know the day of the week. And the specific date of the month. What is the answer? It's C. All right. Now you know. Next time, when you see problems about calculating dates, you probably need use the remainder, and then your subtraction to find the specific date. Well done. If you choose C. All right, so this 
is our lesson one. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.